so it's time to dehydrate some mushrooms again. I've got, uh, uh, I went to the grocery store and I found them on sale. Pretty good deal, but yeah, they're fairly dirty, so uh, they'll probably need a couple of washings before I can dehydrate, uh, before I can slice and dehydrate. And I'm thinking of blanching them for a bit before dehydrating as well. I've never done that in the past, but we're going to try that this time. Okay. Okay, so these mushrooms have been through one wash and I've pulled them out and I'm filling up the sink with some more water to put them through a second wash. May require a third. They look pretty dirty to me. So anyway, here goes. And before we can do anything with them, I definitely want them washed. So here we go. We'll get back to you afterwards. Soap again, and we'll wash them a third time before we even consider looking at them individually. Okay. okay, so I'm going to cut and slice away at these, wash them one by one, and then slice them. And I've got a pot of water on the stove to blanch them. I have never blanched mushrooms before I've uh, dehydrated, dehydrated them, but this time I'm going to try that and see what, how they come out. So, um, as I say, at this point it's a matter of taking them one at a time, slicing them up, and blanching before we put it in the dehydrator. And some of them are fairly large, which, which is fine. Maybe I cut those too thick. Okay, so I will get back to you after I have at least done a few of these. Okay, my water's boiled and the first batch is going to go in for blanching now. And mushrooms are one of those interesting things that can cook for quite a while, but I'm not necessarily going to do that. I just want to blanch them. I'll give that a few minutes. Meanwhile, I'll go back to trimming some more. Not the whitest of mushrooms, but for this purpose they'll be just fine. I like the pure white ones when I want to eat them fresh. And I suspect that that's why they were on sale, is because they aren't pure white anymore. Probably a few days old. Still fine for dehydrating. Okay, let's check our blanching here. Still has not come back up to a boil yet. They actually look better after they've been blanched. Oh, they smell great too. Okay, I'll get back to you after that is done. Okay, I've got another very large batch ready to go in as soon as the water boils. But meanwhile, I can start putting some of the ones that have been um, blanched onto trays. Ow, quite 
pot certainly have shriveled up in size as well. Which is fine. I think doing this that they should rehydrate a whole lot quicker and easier and better. But we'll have to see. I've never tried this before either. Always something new to try. Never hurts to try new things. Okay, so this water is boiling and these can go into, in to be blanched. Perhaps I'd better do a few at a time. as evenly as I can and get the next tray ready. Okay, well I now have most of the trays, just one left to do, actually one and a bit. And the last of the mushrooms have come out of the um, boiling water. And they're still hot. So they pretty much filled up all my five trays on my dehydrator. Once again, I've just got a junior type dehydrator. I don't have the Excalibur awesome one, but oh well. Maybe someday, maybe not. It's not that important right now. This thing does work. It may not be the prettiest thing in the world, but it does the job. I'm going to spread the last bit of mushrooms and then set it up in the dehydrator and check it probably, I suspect that this would not take as long as if I hadn't blanched them, but it may. I'll check them later on tonight and determine whether or not they have to stay in again until the morning. So they're spread pretty much as evenly as I can, five full trays. Awesome, awesome. Come, come, now. There you go. Sitting properly. Okay, we'll get back to you when uh, they're all done. Okay, so I have uh, taken the mushroom pieces off the, out of the dehydrator, and I'm not quite sure if I like the end result here. They're very fine. I certainly didn't cut them this fine. Um, but we'll test them to see what they're like when they rehydrate and uh, they might be perfectly fine. So all of that, five trays, made three quarters, half a mason jar, half a quart jar, no, just a little over half. So anyway that's my video for now. And um, if you like this video, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask them. Thank you very much. That's my video for today, and we'll see you on the next one.